Hello. In the previous session, you had seen configuration of Kali in virtual machine. You can configure any operating system such as we had seen in the previous session in any of the virtual machine. In this session, this is a new section where we are going to understand uh, how Kali works and uh, different kinds of Linux command, the simple command, advanced command, every command we are going to understand in this section. So the first, uh, we are going to understand this file system hierarchy of uh, Kali Linux. It is very important to understand. Uh, so first understand why it is important. You see that uh, sometimes it happens that a person directly enrolled to a course which is earlier, uh, you know, not very familiar. So if a person who is working on only developing parts, C and C++, get directly, he just having a knowledge of, uh, you know, just the programming language only. He doesn't have any knowledge of a Linux system. Maybe he's working on Windows only. There might be a chance he is interested in cybersecurity now and uh, uh, he will uh, learn it. But the thing is he do not know any, anything about uh, the Linux directory system. So for them it is very important. Uh, one more thing is uh, a person who is interested in cybersecurity will try to uh, you know run different types of uh, applications here. So once he installed that application in the Linux system, he should know that where these files is going actually in the folder. Uh, we know that in Windows system, any anything that we install, any program we install, it goes to the system C program files. We know that, but we do not know the same thing for Linux, right? So it is very important that you understand the directory system, system of Kali Linux and understand that what exactly these directories are doing here. Uh, what specifies this directly and what defines them okay so we need to understand it so first of all we have a root here a directory uh, as a as this one slash directory we generally call it. it's a, a root or you can say a directory called root it is an entry point for any file structure so uh, if you see your uh, your terminal if you do like cd slash then you are inside the root uh, we will see in this uh, in the Linux command uh, section, but uh, right now you just understand if you provide this command to the terminal cd slash, then you are inside the root folder. I mean this folder. Otherwise, you are not inside the root folder. So it's an entry point for any file structure in the Linux system, right? The uh, second thing, the second uh, directory after the root. I mean there are many folders comes up, but I'm not gonna go in the sequence. I will take any random directory here. So another one is we have a bin, and bin is basically binary, uh, binary file or binary directory, and other uh, executable program. We're gonna any executable or any binary file is being stored inside this bin folder okay so we we have a structure like this we have a program uh, source code so we have a program source code it gets it is readable in the form uh, it's a readable by human uh, this source code is going to be compiled uh, by compiler and then it is going to be converted into binaries which is somehow not readable uh, it is only readable, uh, not readable by humans, only readable by machines. So these binary files, okay, these binary files, the compiled uh, source code is going to be stored inside a bin folder. I hope this is easy way to understand. These are non-text file, okay, so compiled application being stored. The third directory we're going to understand is etc. And this directory is very, very important because <clears throat> your hash file, your SAM file is being stored inside this etc folder. So it's a system file basically. And generally we store something called as configuration file so so if you are installing any ids here intrusion detection system then all configuration file is going to be stored inside etc or even if you take any uh, maybe if you are installing any um, um, ftp client or server then the configuration file of that server is going to be stored inside etc okay so it stores all the etc etc uh, sorry all the configuration file inside the etc folder then we also have something called as home directory that you will see that it is nothing but a, a home directory i mean it's your directory your your uh, folder where you can store different things okay it's normally you are sitting there it's the first directory that you are going to deal with uh, then after this you can enter into the root cd slash right so it's a home directory uh, then we also have something called as opt which is an optional file we call it as um, optional as a name optional uh, directory and it usually contains third-party softwares okay it contains uh, a third 
party software sorry i'm writing here but uh, it's it's a way we can uh, understand each and everything here opd is an option file contains third party software so if, if you are installing uh, like maybe uh, apt um, maybe g edit apt get install g edit then it's a third party software you are it's not coming with the linux i mean kali linux you are installing it right so that kind of uh, software is going to be is, is going to be stored inside this opt folder option folder then we have a temp folder here which uh, which is a temporary storage of file a temporary uh, file is going to be stored here inside the temporary a uh, temp folder uh, you see it is very similar that to that of a temp or you had seen this thing in your windows operating system this thing uh, temp and generally you clear it manually right so this is very similar to that uh, the uh, idea here is the difference is uh, this is actually clears on reboot and that uh, temp percentage percentage a temp is not actually cleared with your reboot right you need to do it manually so this is the difference otherwise it is a temporary file folder uh, then um, we have something called as usr which is a user related data folder so it's um, anything related to you is going to be stored inside this usr folder we also have where folder var which is a variable data file variable data file so you see these kind of file are generally modify after a time right a file here the variable data file is something like a very a file which uh, will modify uh, its content or its data um, like after some time like regularly maybe and you see that uh, it is basically a kind of log files because log files are the kind uh, of file which uh, modify their data after a certain interval of time so that kind of file is being stored inside var so log file so if you are having a wire uh, not version yeah you can take wireshark or maybe any ids or any firewall then all the logs is being stored inside the var var folder and do not find anywhere else there might be possibility that if you configure your i mean software it might be chance that uh, this log files can be stored in other location but uh, the by default location is the ar where folder we also have dev folder and dev is a special device folder so if you are it is basically contains device related data contain special device for all the devices will be created and you see that this folder is not comes like default it is not there in the uh, hierarchy it is not there in the direct system but it will be generated when you uh, connect your device i mean it is going to be uh, created there once you install any device driver or something like that okay so this has been created or installed at that particular particular instant of time we have a lib folder which is basically known as library so basic libraries any kind of library is being stored inside the lib uh, folder so let's say one or two more things are here so we also have media you see media is basically a mount point uh, it's a mount mount point so any type of removable device you are connecting to your virtual machine maybe it is a wi-fi adapter or maybe um, this mouse adapter or maybe any anything else you are connecting it is going to become here in the media part okay so it's a mount mount point for your removable devices removable devices sorry for my typos because i'm not checking it actually uh, there is also one other fold which is mnt which is a temporary mount folder so it's a temporary uh, mount point okay it's a temporary mount point so once you do, uh, disconnect your device this temporary mount point is also going to be disabled or being uh, turned off uh, there is a uh, an alternative of bin there is something called a sysbin and sysbin is a kind of a folder see in bin we have uh, we have compiled applications or binaries or exe applications but in the sysbins are the are the folder which are having system programs so so there is you know program file available in your system see there is something called as program file which is for the system okay so this is that kind of folder system program uh, then uh, there are other directories such as run uh, there might be a chance that you will find proc uh, maybe a chance that you will find uh, syc they are 
see this proc and sys are linux kernel uh, system i mean folders uh, and this run is for a variable a runtime folder so anything you are running uh, it is variable then it is going to be use this kind of folder and this proc and sys are linux kernel basically and these three these three cumulatively they are not a part of this file system hierarchy they might be there in some operating system or might not but generally all the above directories you will see uh, mostly in any of the uh, any of the linux file uh, directory system so uh, so these are some of the files if i open here kali machine uh, you will see that uh, uh, the, there is a file system of file manager here you can see that all the files that I had shown you in the notepad they are here right now uh, so there might be chance that I have this I need to disconnect it once I disconnect all these things are going to be going to be removed so you see media and MNT we have we have a sys file which is uh, not a file system hierarchy uh, we have run file uh, it's a variable runtime etc we have home lib lib64 these are library files for 64 architecture and 32 architecture so i think you understand it uh, so uh, so do not find any i mean do not click on any of the uh, any of the folder and find anything everywhere do not uh, do that just narrow it down because now you know that where exactly the file is being stored so if you want to find like third party software just go for the opt folder so it's an optional folder which is not yeah here so all this opt is going to contain third party uh, software so you can see here nessus has been installed so it is a third party is being being saved here in opt so something like that so bifurcate it narrow it down do not search in in everywhere right so i hope you like it thank you so much guys and i'll see you in the next session